And let's move on to the big story of the day, the questioning of TMC Minister Partha Chatterjee by the Enforcement Directorate in the cash for job scam that's rocked Bengal politics. The AD questioned Partha Chatterjee on the hordes of cash, jewellery that's been found in his properties and linked to his aide, Arpita Mukherjee. Now, uh, jewellery, government documents, all of that has been found at his aide, Arpita's house. Uh, and the ED questioned Partha on that for over five hours. Another TMC MLA, Manik Bhattacharya, has been summoned by the ED in the same case. Manik Bhattacharya was once the primary education department's president and will now be questioned by the ED on his links to the SSC recruitment scam. The ED's Bengal raids has opened up a can of worms as more revelations emerge against Partha. A high court petition stating that at least 10 of his bodyguard's kin were allegedly given jobs as government teachers. Kolkata High Court has directed that this petition on the bodyguards' revelations be linked with the job scam petition. There is unsubjudice because you know the investigation is going on. I don't know what will be the outcome of investigation. And Honorable Chief Minister, she has categorically said that if there is anything adverse comes, then the government will take action. Health report of West Bengal government has come and it shows that it is positive for TMC, too much corruption. But some in the West Bengal government are saying it is too much coincidence. Can it be too much coincidence now that pictures have also appeared that Arpita was sharing the official stage of the TMC on several occasions? Is it too much coincidence that the same Arpita was being praised by Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee in the presence of Partha Chatterjee? in a public program and she was lauding her for the good work. Is this all too much coincidence or is it too much corruption? Party ko torna banana agency ka kaam nahi hai. Jo ghapla ghotala hua hai, usko ujagar karna hai. Aur sahi upayog karke, sahi jaga par pohunchi agency hai, tabhi itni noto ki bandil mil rahi hai. Itne sara milne ka baad bhe, jo dekhiye, aankh chura rahe hai, jhoot bol rahe hai, dhamki de rahe hai, public inko kya bolega? Is liye public saab vote liye te. Ekkis mein jit gie, bale ekkis karod loot lenge, ye adhikar kis ne diya aapko? And let's get your details in our next report about what's been the takeaway so far for the Enforcement Directorate from the questioning of Partha Chatterjee. He was asked about all of the cash that's been recovered, the jewellery and the allegations of the massive SSC teacher recruitment scam. And so far, reports suggest that he's been completely evasive during questioning. Heat is mounting on TMC Minister Partha Chatterjee and his close aide Arpita Mukherjee. After a pile of cash amounting to 21 crore rupees and incriminating documents were found at Arpita's residence. Enforcement Directorate has questioned Partha for at least five hours over his alleged role in the Bengal teacher recruitment scam. ED sources tell India today that Partha was quizzed why the first list of SSC qualified candidates was cancelled. Then questioned over his role in the advisory council and if recruits were recommended by him. He was grilled on the source behind the cash found at his close aid Arpita's residence and whether there were any Hawala transactions in the recruitment scam. A black diary found at Arpita's residence that allegedly held crucial information on the scam featured in the interrogation. Sources say West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee's close confidant feigned ignorance and refused to cooperate with the central agency. With the clamour for his resignation growing, will Mamta bite the bullet and sack Partha Chatterjee? Bureau Report, India Today is joining us live from Kolkata with the latest updates on this. Rithik, good morning. The Enforcement Directorate now trying to weed out answers from Partha Chatterjee as well as Arpita Mukherjee. What we're hearing is that Partha's aide Arpita Mukherjee uh, is in fact giving all the details that she's cooperating completely with the investigation while the minister isn't. Good morning, Akshita, that at this point in time uh, a huge amount of cash that has been recovered from Arpita Mukherjee's place and Arpita Mukherjee and remember 
enforcement directorate is just not probing the source of uh, the mountain of cash that has been recovered uh, from Arpita's place. But we are told that uh, there are many more. One, a black diary which has the details of all in, uh, you know, illegal transactions. Uh, and of course, several company documents related to Arpita Mukherjee. And uh, these are under scanner, those uh, which have been recovered during the you know, raids conducted both the places from uh, Parthu Chatterjee's house and of course Arpita Mukherjee's flat. Uh, and of course, we are given to understand that one of them is Itche Entertainment Private Limited and its paper, and be, uh, which is believed to be used. A company owned by Arpita Mukherjee is believed to be used uh, for money, you know, transfer. And ED sources claim that uh, they are also probing the Hawala angle in this money trail. But uh, uh, during, uh, uh, I mean, the interrogation with Bengal Minister uh, Partha Chatterjee, he, most of the time he did not cooperate with the central agency, what we are picking up at this point in time. Yesterday, during a five-hour interrogation, uh, five, uh, you know, uh, crucial question he was asked. One, right. that uh, the why the first list of uh, SSC qualified candidates were cancelled and what was his direction and uh, recommendation to the, uh, to the, okay. to the uh, uh, you know, committee, to the uh, advisory committee that was set up uh, to recruit teachers and what is the source of this high amount of money that has been recovered from uh, Arpita's yes. place and most of the uh, time, you know, uh, Partha Chatterjee remained mom, did not say anything. Most exactly. of the time he so said what that we don't know anything. So what we're hearing, as you're pointing out, like is that he hasn't answered any of those questions that you just mentioned right now, which the ED had put to him yesterday. So we'll see how the interrogation goes forward today as well.